What's up guys? So I'm doing Minecraft with Spike. Hey! Or do you want to be somebody else? What the heck? No, I'm Spike. Who else am I gonna be? Spike, don't see bitten. You have bit all of me. Spike, you must have had some really good food. Of course. Had little Caesars. I did too. It was the deep dish pizza, guys. It was deep dish little Caesars. And their sauce is amazing. You make it sound like you're totally sponsoring them. I'm not Oh sponsor. yeah, guys. My YouTube channel is so big. Little Caesars decided to sponsor for me, so first little of, fees. First of all, I'm not sponsoring nobody. I just really like their sauce. Have you ever tasted their sauce, you guys? Of course you have. Who hasn't had Little Caesars? But it is delicious. Any person who doesn't want to get diabetes? It's messed up, Spike. We just ate Little Caesars. Why would you say that? Because it's true. Guys, do you think you'd get diabetes from eating pizza? I guess it depends on how much you eat, but like... But still, you can get diabetes from that. I only ate one big deep dish pizza. <laughs> what should I be? What should I be? I don't know, but these skins are awesome. What should I... Hey, wait, wait, there's a British person. Wait, you should be one of the Christmas characters. What? You should be one of the Christmas characters. No. I want to be a gingerbread man. Yeah. Oh, you're a ginger lady. No, I'm not. I'm a gingerbread man. You're being sexist. But she has pink eyes. and You're being sexist right now. And she's wearing an apron. No. And look how You're her... being sexist again. I'm not being sexist. It's true. No. It seems I missed a spot. Thank you. No, I'm going to so what do you, you. What do you think of my building? It's for. See, see look. Gingerbread. Man, I told you. But look, he doesn't have the blush, and, um, like, he doesn't have the apron. Not being sexist. Yeah, this world's pretty cool. Thank you. What else is in here? I really haven't, well, there is something on the other side of it that I'm working on. Ooh, a chest. What? It didn't save. I must have exited out of it too early. Because I had built, like, a big thing. Shaking my back. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I did literally just press the off button on the actual system rather than save it. So, technically, I and erased you, it. And you wondered... How it didn't save. I had to think about yeah. that. May contain nuts. Get it? Cocoa? Oh, yeah. Ha! 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 Eh, I get it. You know, you know the cookies in Minecraft, guys? Well, the chocolate's made from the nuts. So The cocoa beans? Yeah, the cocoa beans. Like hey, I said. Is, this is my universe. Mm-hmm. My universe. All right. Nothing like playing Minecraft, right, guys? I didn't. Re I haven't really played Minecraft in a while. Number one, because I'm not that huge of a gamer. I'm a little bit of one, but not Wait. like totally. And number two, um, I wanted to wait till I had built the new world, Pink Candy Love, before showing you guys some more stuff. Because I'm actually going to be making that world pretty original. It's going to be based from my book. And maybe just some other random stuff thrown in there. Because I feel like it. I may even add a McDonald's in there. I don't know. Why? I, I, I'm just being Mid random right diabetes. now. Diabetes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, w I want to name it that now. McDiabetes. Um. Uh. Yeah, just put it M. Oh wait, I was gonna say an MD, but uh, it already has an MD for McDonald's. 
<laughs> I'm on a roll, guys. <laughs> what do you mean? You're on a roll. I'm, I'm having way too many uh, uh, brain farts. Indeed. Hey, you farted? No. You're nasty. So, what are those other eggs up there? The eggs? No, no, no. The ones down. Go down. You see those eggs? Real rabbit. Spawn polar bear, my favorite one to torture. Oh I'm yeah, bear. polar bears. I was so happy to get that new spawn, although I don't really use polar bears anywhere. I'm probably I gonna. Know. I might put that somewhere in my world. Maybe I might make a zoo and put like the different animals in there. Yeah. Be cute for my pink candy love world. Yeah. But specifically, I want to make that world to be almost like the real world, but not so much. You know what I mean? No. Kind of like Barbie, how she makes everything pink. It, she's obviously in the real world in the show. Like, when she went to Paris, it looked pretty real. But then she has, like, this glittery makeup dress store. It's just glittery. I want it to be weird, but realistic. Oh, yeah. Kendall. Oh, wait. You know what? Never mind. I was gonna make a comment on the Willy Wonka movie. Maybe I should just leave that alone. Eh, I might as well. In high By the way, who's Kendall? Oh, sorry, Spike. I don't know why I keep calling you Kendall. I must be thinking... You must be thinking about your one friend. Uh, yeah, I was just about to say, I might be thinking of my friend. Yeah, sorry, Spike. So, anyways, my friend said in high school what a snod fairy was. I'm like, ew. They need to know that. Either what? that, or... What is a snod fairy? A nasty, nasty thing. The same thing when I learned what a dingleberry was. I didn't even know what that was either in in high school, and then they told me. And I'm like, you all have dirty minds. I I watch watch a dinkle bear. You don't want to know. I actually do. That's why I asked you. So, what is it? I would tell you to look it up, but then it would lead to other things. Um. Okay, what's the best way to put this? It's a... A fruit? I guess you could go with that. Okay, it's a fruit. It's like when you compare a banana to... It's like that. A banana to a kumquat? What's a kumquat? Kumquat is so... I don't know what that is. I don't know what you have not lived if you have not had a kumquat. Well, the name sounds familiar, though. Hmm. I need a crafting table. Uh, you know what I don't like? It's this fruit that is it's dipped in chocolate, though, and I've ate it. And every time I ate it, it just tastes nasty. I don't want to eat it. No. The one thing I won't eat that has chocolate on it. It's like anything else. There's some things I just won't eat. That's one of them. I eat it and it makes me want to throw up. So does honey. Sweet. Honey makes me feel nauseous. Straight. Like, I'm just a person who wants anything that's sweet. Yeah, but for some odd reason, you know what though? I did used to eat a lot of honey in my oatmeal. And I also used to eat a lot of oatmeal. Um... Like, I remember one year, I ate nothing but oatmeal every day, and I had peanut butter and jelly every single day for lunch. Yeah, that sounds awful. It was. And because I kept carrying my things weird, my, uh, my uh, sandwiches always ended up smashed. <laughs> so smashed peanut butter and jelly for lunch. I even started saying, great, it's another day to have smashed peanut butter and jelly. Just started saying that to my friends. Yeah. You know what, though? Today I was sitting at lunch, and I mean, I love my friends, 
but I felt a little overwhelmed because, like, it was like, I think, six people sitting at a table, a small round table, six or five. Yeah. And I just felt like, whoa, there's a lot of people here sitting at, at this table. I've always been used to, like, three at the max, but it was, like, five oh, or wow. six. And I'm like, wow, that's like a lot of people, golly. I can't believe that you're able to handle so many people. Yeah, but then, so but then much. at the same time, I was happy because it's like, wow, I actually have a lot of friends now. <laughs> I remember when I used to just have like two, <laughs> two or three, but like I have a ton now, and it's like, whoa, I'm no longer antisocial. <laughs> you're antisocial? Oh yeah, I used to be heck antisocial. Now I'm the opposite. I mean, now we can't shut you up. Well, it's better than me being like this. I would be like, if someone came up to me, I would just avoid them. I would just go off my merry way and start singing, but I'd go somewhere else. Far, like, I remember one time I was outside, right? And everyone was playing on the playground. I went all the way to where the field was, where nobody was around. And I just started singing over there. And the teacher had to come and get me and tell me that I had to go back to the playground because I was uh, way too far away and they couldn't see me. <laughs> yep, me. Weird. Another embarrassing fact, guys, which you're probably going to laugh at this, and I, I allow you to. It's hilarious. I uh, used to have a crush on fat guys. No. I used to... Uh, pee pee yourself? Yes. <laughs> and I one time had to wear a pull-up. <laughs> and I was ten. It was <laughs> it was very <laughs> it was very embarrassing. And you know what was the worst part about that guy's? I had a crush on this boy uh, in, in And he was fat? No. Surprisingly he was very skinny. Okay, you know the dude named Robbie? He was like the nerdy type of skinny, wasn't he? You know the blonde haired like guys the, that are I like... Like the mantis type of skinny, huh? No. Yeah. You've seen like Robbie Rotten. Just picture him as a blonde with like blue eyes. Ew. <laughs> Ew. No makeup. Uh, there's really no way to describe what he looked like. I remember many years later, I was, like, older, and I seen a kid who looked exactly like him, and I'm, like, my head, I wasn't thinking, I'm like, Richard? And I was about to say to him, how are you still that short? <laughs> and I'm all, Richard? And he's all, huh? I don't know you. i like, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were somebody else. He just gave me a weird look. We were at a, uh, we were at a water park. <laughs> yeah, and he's I, adding fish. It, he looked they're like so he was not, ten. They're not dead. I promise you. He looked you like he dead. was. He looked like he was ten, and I. I promise you. And I was dead. fourteen, and I thought that he was Richard, and I'm like thinking, why are you still so short? So yeah. Yep, full of fish. Why Lucky. are you gonna put fish into your water thing? It's just like in a little aquarium. That's how you see. Oh, a dead fish. Oh, sorry, you said they were alive. A live dead fish. Sure. Sure, they're alive. <laughs> yeah, fish. Guys. Threat has been detected. Don't listen Be to me. Be quiet! Wait, wait, just don't, like don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. It's fine. No, 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 no. It's fine. Hey guys, whatever you do, don't buy the uh, wigs from the dollar store. It was the biggest mistake I made because... She kept on shedding like a dog. Uh, the little kids from our church had came over to our house. And... There was, there was and, wig hair everywhere. And um, the kids got a hold of the wigs and there ended up being wig hair everywhere. So it's like I didn't even like them with the wigs, and and like it's like everywhere. Like there was even some in the wall, creepy squid. There was even some in the living room. And so like, how did they get in there? They weren't even wearing them in there, or at least not that I think of. Man, that is creepy. 
You should have seen the glitch, you guys, where the squid started flying. <laughs> oh, I should do that. I should do that. You oh, by the way. You seriously going to show them the flying wig thing? I mean, the flying squid thing? Are you ready to gingerbread rock? Heh. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Da, jingle da, bell, da. jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Do, 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 do. Are you guys <laughs> ready to rock? Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. No way, <laughs> no way. I'm gonna do something like really hilarious. Hold up. Introducing DJ Gingerbread. Are you guys ready to rock? <coughs> Apparently he is. He's yeah! Yeah. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Yeah. Yeah. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Jingle bell. Catch me if Can't you can. catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Can't see your eyes. Thank you for allowing me here. Wait, what the heck? How did you get here? I'm oh, my, oh my goodness, he teleported. Security! That's ah, creepy. Ah. Did you guys see that? That's creepy. He like teleported. He did teleport, great. Yeah, and this is going to be like the club. Going to be like an aquarium thing. Going to be great. Yeah. Going to be lit. It is already lit, though. <laughs> you are showing out on trend. Not even close. Not a trend. <laughs> you guys get the joke. I am a dragon. And yet, oh yeah, you want to know something? I'm an ancient there's dragon, a, there's a, but yet I am on trend. Hey, Kendall, guess what? Someone said the most cheesiest joke today. So, apparently... What did you say? Not me. Yes, Jared. You. He's one of the students at our school. So, the teacher told him, as he's on stage, since he's supposed to be like a comedian, and he's also like part of the show, so he has to do a bunch of jokes on stage. So, guess what he says? Why'd the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> like, and Mr. K K Mr. Uh, Carmel was all laughed. And we're like, huh, huh, huh. And, and Corey's like, <sniffs> and I'm like, bravo. Just, just bravo. It was so unique, honey. I just, I just remember, I just like, I can just imagine just uh, an old looking New Jersey woman. You did such a good job, honey. Yeah, and like literally nobody was laughing. It Smile was super. Smile for the picture, honey. Oh yeah, and he and he said, "What do you call a bird that gets run over a lawnmower? Shredded, shredded tweet." Or shredded sweet or something. It was dumb. <laughs> uh, I mean, I had dead birds. Yeah, and then Corey's all, uh, and he's all, so what do you call a bird Scott, that gets run over a lawnmower? He's all dead. <laughs> Corey? And I'm like, well, wow, he actually said something dark. I never thought that would come from you, Corey. Uh, and then, like, he said that one joke. You remember the one where, like, uh, he, the, what, what, what happened to the guy that got, like, ran over by a car and he's all right now? You know that one? And he's all right now. Jared actually said that joke. What? Um, so there was this guy that got ran over on his left side, and now he's all right now. Oh. He said that joke, and I'm like... Corey's all, that's messed up. I'm all, I've heard that joke before. <laughs> oh, I don't know if he's all right now. More like he's all wrong. Ugh. But you, you get the joke right. Yeah, I do. It's awful. And funny. But awful. 
And I'm like, could you come up with any original jokes? I told him the orange, like, I told him another old joke to at least give him some new ones because he was uh, literally like, repeating himself. I love your your pony. So you know what I told him? I told him the orange you. banana oh, yeah, joke. And then he said the orange banana joke. And I'm like, finally, he said another joke. <clears throat> he didn't say a new joke I never heard before. Look, it's an outhouse. It, oh. It was the... But the only thing who were, like, really see is the fish. Um, in a toilet. Yeah, if that was how we sat in real life, I would never use an outhouse. Hey, you can't watch. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Now blush. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, you can't see me. Hi, I. Okay, now just picture that. Wait, go back to that. Just picture that. A little bit higher of the head, just picture the head a little bit higher. That is Wait. what now just picture that, but in a bathroom, there's two toilets in there, and it's just like that, and the other person can look right at you. And sometimes the people will just barge in there and go to the bathroom where, while you're going to the bathroom. No, 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 no. I mean, you'll be going, there's no doors to, to hide you. <laughs> There's just the open stall, and it's not real high, it's low, so if you're sitting, and then there's a big mirror in front of you guys, like, as big as my thing right here, it, and you can see the other person. So if you go like this, if you just turn your head, you can see the other person going to the bathroom. I'm like, this is nasty! Who was the person who put this bathroom together? I, I want to know. Probably either that or someone who really doesn't know how to design bathrooms. And then Miss Amanda's all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, we find, we got some, uh, a whole bunch of new money and we're gonna replace the bathrooms with all new bathrooms. Guess what? That toilet in one of the bathrooms is still broken. <laughs> and the bathrooms are still nasty and they're not new bathrooms. They're the same. And in fact... One of the doorways is now broken on one of the bathrooms. Literally, I went to go to the bathroom, and I and I unlocked the door, and I was almost locked in there. Apparently, a nail's been sticking out, uh, were blocking the door, and I didn't even notice. And I found it. It was, like, in between the door. So, like, say you shut the door, it was, like, where the door shut. I'm, like, thinking, how does this thing even open or close if it's like this? So the door's supposed to shut like this, right? The nail was like through it about this much. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm like thinking, how does anyone even use this bathroom? And students are using this bathroom and nobody's fixed the problem. Oh. I'm like thinking, I hope that... Dumb dudes. Huh? Dumb dudes. I hope that a health inspector comes and takes a look at this so they can be told... Hey, if you don't do this, this place is going to get shut down something because this is ridiculous. I mean... I like someone that's going to probably have you bored. Yeah, like seriously. I went to go clean uh, one day and... died in an hour, so like, oh, uh, I guess you better die in an hour. Peace, bro. And, and Peace then, out. Grab in our hearts, bro. And then like in their stupid spick and span class, I went to go mop a floor, right? And I was told to get a bucket. I go to grab a bucket, and there's a big, huge cockroach on its back oh, in no. the bucket. I had to dump it in the trash. It was nasty. I thought of, I, I, I literally was thinking that. I, like, I wanted to throw up. I was feeling sick after looking at no, it. No, I was talking about that's what the bug was like. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, but, I mean, seriously. <laughs> it's too nasty. <laughs> Even the bug's like, no. <laughs> It's too nasty. Guys, and I thought I was nasty. <laughs> Guys, it was just nasty. Yeah, we have to oh, yeah. I, I, awful. You know how, like, everybody's heard of the Smurf? Well, apparently... <laughs> apparently, <laughs> Corey... <coughs> apparently, Corey and Edward never heard of the Snorks. The Snorks. You don't know what the Snorks is, either? 
I grew up on those too. They're basically the same as the Smurfs, but they're underwater. And they live in like so and dumb. they live in coral instead of mushrooms. It's a really great show. That sounds so dumb. <laughs> the we are the smir smirks. I mean, snorks. Snorks. Just picture the smirks if they were sea so creatures. Dumb. Just make them different colors and put like a antenna on them so they can breathe underwater. La 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 la. Please kill me. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> they didn't la, la 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 Please no. kill me. I'm sure the Smurfs were very annoyed by that. Somebody should make that. Like, Smurfs watching the Snorks. Wow, Brainy, what is this? I have no idea, but I'm sure it will be really great. Bob the Smurf. I'm sure it will, my little Smurf. Goes and watches it. Ah, abort mission! Abort mission! Even Joey. We've lost hope to humanity. Yeah. I repeat, we've lost hope to humanity. Even Jokey Smurf doesn't find it funny. <laughs> this this sucks. <laughs> oh my goodness, I could see that too. Uh. So, Spike is very creative. Do you see what he built? Oh, that's the button. Oh. <laughs> I literally was singing the Jurassic World song, though. Hold on. Hold on. Da -da 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 -da. Hold on. Oh yeah, apparently Corey said he had a dream he ate pizza last night. I'm like, must have been a great dream. Wish I could have had a dream like that. Instead I ate I ate pizza. Instead I had a dream that I drove off a cliff. Like <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a I wish I had a dream that um uh, I oh, yeah, had a dream that, <laughs> that I ate pizza instead. I had a dream. <laughs> I had a dream and I got <laughs> fell off a cliff. It was the best dream ever. Uh. It was the best dream ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. But why did you have the dream even? I don't even know. Were you fed short of style? Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, I... Why did I have to think about it? Um, it, so basically I had a dream. I was trying to... I was at a GameStop trying to buy a monkey ball game, right? That's but so the GameStop... But the GameStop Dolly. was completely white. Like, the walls in this room. Like, it looked like a thrift store. And I'm thinking to myself, why does this GameStop look like a thrift store? <laughs> Anyways. And it was. No, it was a game. But then, but then you didn't get your wrong game. You're like, you know what? Forget this. Life is life is actually, pointless. Actually, I um, uh, ooh, pretty. Anyways, no, I did not end up buying the game. I couldn't find it anywhere, and even in a dream. <laughs> and uh, the guy who was in a wheelchair, who reminded me of a guy from school named Richard, he asked me to take a picture of him. And I didn't have anything to take a picture with him, so I just said no. How does this repeater work again? Watch this. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Repeater has a layer and uh, okay. That very informative, right? And anyways, so all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I'm driving in a forest. And <laughs> you're like, I didn't get the thing. I didn't get the costume that I wanted. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't yeah. get the game I wanted. So <laughs> then you killed yourself. Literally, I randomly started driving in a forest. I was Snow White now, because that makes so much sense. The prince dude was next to me. There were two kids in the back. I throw the kids out of the car. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the game that I wanted. Forget you kids. Forget, forget you kids. It wasn't like that at all. 
The yeah, car, I couldn't drive. I couldn't <laughs> drive to like you're no. frustrated. No, I like get out of the car, kids. Get out of the car. No, I couldn't control it. I literally was <laughs> trying can't to control your anger. No, I yeah. couldn't control the car. I was trying to drive, but it span out of control. I literally couldn't control the wheel. I can't control the wheel. So, so I yeah. threw the kids out of the car. Yeah, it was a bad thing. And then I drove off the cliff. Yeah. And ironically, you see the green car on the side. It's Why still, the green? I don't know. I hate that color, though. It just, the car with the prince dude, I died. It exploded. And I went head first on the ground. I you died. No, I didn't die. You shepherd. I got up. You shepherd. I seen through. a cactus where a hole was. I went into the hole. Big mistake. I seen this demonic looking, very creepy. I don't know what mistake it was. From Dust Belt? Uh, no. Probably were. It looked like something from a horror movie. You remember how the other mother from uh, from uh, Coraline, how her face was cracked? Picture that, but black and with like gray in the cracks. Picture fairy wings. Picture the the witch looking thing with black long hair, like ab like abnormally long, like the wig long. I'm sorry. And then like it, it was just it was hideous. And then I woke up. And, I, and it gave me a good long stare before I woke up, too. It just, it frowned at me. Like, it glared. Are you disappointed me? Probably. It's like, you didn't do what I wanted you to do. Anyways, it was mad at me. <clears throat> I don't You're know. supposed to die. <laughs> yes. But anyways, I could not get a hold of the wheel, guys. And I actually felt, I actually felt when I fell off the cliff, I fell out of the car. And I was falling. I could well, feel well, it. What else were you supposed to feel? Well, you got a point, but man, it was—it felt so real. You're, was it supposed to feel? So just picture this. I don't know how this happened, but like the door was closed, it, obviously, it and I guess I fell out the window, and I went. I was like, wow, this is fun and yet scary. And then I hit the ground head first. Surprisingly, though, I didn't feel any pain when my head hit the ground. I should have felt pain, but I didn't. I'm like, thank you, Why Jesus. Why are you complaining about that? I should have felt pain. I was looking forward to that part. No, I wasn't looking forward to it. You but I, I just look forward to that part. Well, it's just that uh, I, I feel everything in my dreams, so it's like expected. Are you trying to feel pain? No. I'm glad I didn't. So why are you complaining? I'm not. I'm happy. So you're happy that you fell out of the car in your dreams? No, I'm happy I didn't die. But you technically did. And then I guess I resurrected like on some Sims game. Like I literally fell off the cliff and like it was like a Sims game. I just got up and I wasn't harmed. <laughs> I'm like Perfect, I'm a girl. I'm like I even was thinking this in the dream. I'm like, I lived? Like, I'm alive? And then I just went into a hole. Like, and actually it kind of looked like Minecraft. Just picture it real though. Picture in real life, you just see like the desert land, and then you just see this hole. And I just, and I just went where the hole was. Okay, that was weird. It was. That was dumb of you to do, wasn't it? I don't know, it was a dream. And dreams, you do some weird stuff. Things you never do. Sometimes you would do, sometimes you wouldn't. Just so you know, guys, I really do want that monkey ball again, but I mean, I it's wouldn't drive expensive. off a cliff for it. <laughs> that was definitely some weird stuff. Life is meaningless now! <laughs> uh, I don't know, should I keep the ears or not? I like it. I think it adds to it, makes it look more realistic. Nah. You like say it. so, I like it. I hate it. Anyways, um, yeah, so, pretty weird dream, you guys. I mean, I dreamt about that, about driving off a cliff. Well, Cory dreamed, and dreamt about eating pizza. Man, I wish I had that dream, but I dreamed about flying off a cliff. 
Well, I asked him what type of pizza it was, because, you know, I guess that totally mattered, but <laughs> I, I asked him what type no, of pizza it, it was. it doesn't matter that you were kind of suicidal in your dream. It depends on what pizza you were dreaming of in your dream. Obviously. He was dreaming of, about pepperoni pizza. Don't blame him. Don't blame him. Pepperoni pizza is pretty good. Yeah, it is. To an extent, I guess. It depends on my mood. What do you mean, to an extent? I love pineapple pizza. I get you. Remember the movie Inside Out? First the Hawaiians, now you. I actually wouldn't mind trying broccoli on pizza. It actually sounds pretty good. Wouldn't you guys agree? I mean, think no. about it. It's like vegetable pizza. I mean, they already have vegetarian pizza, but I mean, broccoli on pizza? That sounds epic. No, Depending on the broccoli, though. Awful. What What type of broccoli is there, Dolly? There's of hard broccoli, and then there's soft broccoli. There's no... Don't be... I'm not saying against, like, the Chinese food places. But when I go to eat Chinese food, they always make their broccoli hard, and it's hard for me to eat it. So, so it's just, uh, it wasn't their fault that you got baby teeth from all the cavities. First of all, I don't You know this girl had 12 cavities? 12. Actually, it's 11. No, 12, because one was so bad, and they had to replace it. You're going to end up with dentures. Oh, N no, 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 you're talking about the one I had. That doesn't count because it was already yeah, it removed. Yeah, counts. it counts. Had 12, but now it's 11. But still, you had 12 cavities. Guys, there's something you should know about me. I have a problem with eating sweets. And, like, I'm, not, and I'm not afraid to admit it. I like... Diabetes. It's not, I don't, I don't claim that. You don't need to claim it, it's for the happen. Nope, I got Jesus. You do got Jesus, but Jesus ain't finna, ain't finna, uh, bless you with everything and you acting like you doing stuff like if you would jump off a cliff, it don't mean God finna send two angels to lift you up. Because you're dumb well, enough would, to do that. Why would I jump off a cliff? I would never do that. Why That's would you eat? Why would you eat so many sweets to the point that you got twelve cavities inside you? Candles. Ha? I mean, Spike. Ha? No. no. I'll call me your friend. Sorry, Spike. Yeah. What are you doing, Spike? Making clouds. What are you doing? Getting more cavities? <laughs> I'm not eating anything. I'm watching you play, Spike. They're quite interesting. I know I am. We're making. So, you guys are probably wondering, what am I going to do tomorrow? Well, I'm going to go shopping. Nobody is wondering that. Absolutely nobody is wondering that. I am. No. <laughs> That's you. But literally no one else is wondering My that. My YouTube channel, I can talk about whatever I want. I can talk about spinach puffs. Not There's that no such thing as spinning pets! Who says? Says logic. Something you can literally that you do not have. Literally, you can look up spinach puffs, and it's there. Have you had them? Actually, yes, I have. I had had them once. Yeah, to think about it. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Sure. I re well, I had to look sure. back. My dad used to make those. Sure. Yeah, I'm like, did I have spinach puffs? Sure. Sure. Kendall. Sure. Stop calling me your friend. She's ugly. That is so mean. Kendall is not ugly. She's beautiful and just wonderful. No, she isn't. She's ugly. Spike, you're me. She's an ugly mango. Why? Is, why would she be a mango? She'd be. Because she's ugly. No. She would be like a beautiful strawberry. Because strawberries are the best fruit. Strawberries lead to your ugly. Strawberries are the best fruit. They're delicious. 
seen they're the delicious. Ugly, they're delicious. Uh, and they're red. Which He's is the ugly mango. Which is the color of love. He's an ugly mango. Your face spike is beautiful. Face. No, because you say that Kendall's face is ugly. So your face is ugly, Spike. No, my face is beautiful. I am a beautiful, confident woman. Spike, you're a woman. I like to identify myself as them. Why them? Are you are you an insane person, Spike? Are you are you a mental case that I didn't know about? Like, should we put you in a sane asylum? <laughs> like, since wow, when? You're being so sexist right now. How oh is, my god. How is triggered? Triggered. I'm triggered. First of all, I don't say that because it might. I'm triggered. I'm so triggered right now, you don't even know, Dolly. I'm Why so is that triggered. even a thing now? Because, you know, most people, well, most adults think of it that way. I guess not. What? Kids think of it differently than how adults think of it. Oh, uh, wait, is it, is it because you have a dirty mind? No! Okay, maybe. You're I'll... blushing, yeah. Yeah. I'm not blushing. Yeah, you are. Why is your face red? That sunburn from inside. From lies. From inside. Lies. <laughs> lies. You okay. have a dirty mind. Guys, I do. But I mean, middle school root me. No, middle school doesn't have to do anything with it. You make up your own stuff that middle school didn't <clears throat> even mention to you. No, I mean, middle That's school just like how you thought. Me. It's like how you thought in like the one episode how Spongebob was blown up a balloon that looked like plankton and he thought it looked like a condom. I never said that. Yeah. And who, and who told, and, no, I never said that. <coughs> Where'd you even get that from? You. No, because I never said that. Now, there's one thing when I do say I said that, because I'll admit to it, but I did not say that. And I will not claim that I said something that I did not say. But you said it to you. Kendall, it's just I mean, Skittle Spike. Factory. Ha! I did call not. me the ugly mango. Spike, I did not say that. Sure. Guys, I promise you, I did not say that. Sure. Who do you believe? The dragon? The ancient wise dragon? Or a or person a... who's honest? Dolly. Yes. Are you really? Yes. Are you really? Yes. Are you really? I'm honest. Are you really? Yes. Are you really? Yes. Your face! I am Spike! Are you really? But don't. Uh, hmm. Are you really? Why do you keep saying that, Spike? Are you really what? But what's that? A broken piano. Huh. Sounds like Mr. Neil. <laughs> Sorry, that was awful. There's my meme. I'm gonna per per personally send this to Mr. Neil. Is that, guys, is what I call mean comedian. There are those out there that will say something. Mr. Neil's nice. It's just, you know. I actually don't show it. Nah. Please tell me what's the matter with Mr. Neil. Nothing. Sure. It really isn't. I mean, if there was one thing I could say. Uh-huh. I'm listening. It's There's just nothing. you and me and the internet. Nope. There's actually nothing wrong with them. You sure. You're gonna say something. Oh yeah, he's actually pretty angry or something. Or yeah, he's actually pretty strict. Or yeah, I had to get a pack for his out of a bucket thanks to him. No, that was thanks to Miss Molly. Which, for some odd reason, Jarrett keeps calling me Molly. 
He's all, hi Molly, I mean Dolly. He does it every time he sees me. He, he literally says, hi Molly, I mean Dolly. I'm like, my name isn't I mean and it isn't Molly. It's Dolly. Like, it's really not that hard to remember. You can't remember other people's names. True, but after a while of getting to getting uh -huh. to remember their names, <laughs> yes, but Kendall, <laughs> I mean Spike, I don't call Stop them. Call me that ugly mango. Ah, uh, I give up. <laughs> Anyways, I think I get Mr. Moses as a bus driver again, because this bus driver, Mr. Head Head Head, head Mask. Hamid or Habe Habe Ha. It's some name I can't pronounce. Hama Hama Ha. Something like that. Hama Hama Ha. I think it's Hedro. 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 Hama Hama Ha. Hold on, let me think. Uh. I think it's Hedro. It, are you sure it's not first row? Nope. I'm positive. Whoa. You know what else, though? Like, Mr. Bobby... Can't catch me up. Mr. Bobby you. has been late every single day. Like, me and, like, my other busmates will be standing out there, right? Non-stop. We'll just be standing in the heat. And we're just waiting for the bus driver to come. Like, all the other bus drivers always make it before our bus driver. There was only one time, just one, where the bus driver came before all the other buses. But like every other time, it's always the buses, all three buses come before our bus. It's like, what takes this bus driver so long? I mean, if it's because of a bad reason, I'm sorry for him. But like, I mean, how can you be late every single day? <clears throat> You're going to kill yourself. I don't know why, but every time those things teleport you with, like, being in survival mode, they kill you. No, they don't. Really? They don't kill you. What are they doing? They're hurting you. Because whip flash. Whip flash? Whip flash. What is that? It's when, like, you almost, like, all of a sudden, like, your head might, like, flip another way. Oh. It's, like, <clears> basically, <throat> bre neck breaks. And how did you come to know that? Internet? Um, no, common sense. Uh, I guess that makes sense. So, how are you guys? I know you can't really answer, but if you could... Go ahead and answer. How are you guys? Oh, I like to leave this video. Why? No, I can say that's probably what they're thinking. Oh. This video is sucking so far. Uh, who knows? There's a, Wyatt says he likes watching my YouTube video of Minecraft. I'm like, uh, I guess some people like doing that because personally, I don't really like watching gaming videos all that much sometimes I mostly like watching the monkey ball ones but like Minecraft sometimes uh, that Stampy guy is interesting I guess who's Stampy? his name is Stampy Cat he's the popular Minecraft guy on the internet that a lot of people seem to love to watch I don't know who the world Stampy Cat is but Stampy Cat is that sweet Anyways, uh, Kaylon is another person to be on trend, like you, Spike, and, uh, yeah, so Stampy Cat is someone who she loves to watch, so, yeah. She also loves playing Minecraft. But she has Xbox Live. Uh, she does. She does. In fact, she actually has internet on hers. So if we wanted to play online, we could. Problem is, she's not allowed to play online. For the reason being, she's also not allowed to have a YouTube channel either. I guess she has to meet you. Yep. 
basically the same thing. Still. It's basically not the same thing. One has amazing editing. One has amazing editing, while the other one, um, uh, you know, you see in all these videos. For the record, you guys, I may not have the best technology, but I'm still a lot of fun. Uh, and, 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 and the best, leave it from there. and the best part of, about my videos, guys, is first of all, it's all of mine that. are, that too, all of my videos happen to be more worked on, like it's more, I put more work into it, like most people just edit their videos and try to make it look cool, they cut out everything. I can't do that. I mean, unless if I already have posted the video and I re-upload it and like cut out parts and put another part of the video that way, I can't really, you know, uh, do what other people do. I just haven't learned that yet. And, um, you know, I can learn it. Take forever to learn, though. I, I'm not that patient about it, but who knows, I might learn it, I might not. It's still cool to play video games and things like that. And also guys, I, pretty soon, I plan on getting a GameCube. I already talked to my papa about it. He you said he's gonna waste your money on a GameCube. I don't care if it's wasting money, I've badly been wanting that game for years. And I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna get more games for it, by the way. I'm not just going to get the one game, I'm going to get more games. I'm going to get all the games that I had, and also, I'm going to get one of my ultimate favorite games besides Monkey Ball. I'm going to get, like, that Sonic game, Attack and the Power of Juju, and, uh, what's that one game? Donkey Kong, uh, Jungle Beat. I'd also need to buy a remote for that, too, because that one came with bongos. No, it's not. It's super fun. Guys, the GameCube was probably one of the best game systems I ever had. That and the PlayStation 2. I'm making a big, huge meme thing. Oh, yeah. And, guys, on my PlayStation 2, I used to have Dance Dance Revolution, and I used to spend hours since I didn't have the mat. I would use the normal remote control for the PlayStation 2. And I would just move with the arrows. I would both move my feet as I moved the buttons. And it was just so much fun. And I got hecka good at it. So I'm like the queen of Dance Dance Revolution while my cousin's the king of uh, Just Dance. I can't seem to beat him on Just Dance. Um, and you know what was so annoying though? In high school, I always tried to convince him to dance and he never would. But he would be so confident and cocky when it came to like us uh, doing just dance. It made me feel competitive and I so badly wanted to beat him, but I never could. How annoying is that? And he was so good at it too. And he could do really complicated dance when looking at the screen, but I guess since he wasn't looking at screen, he didn't want to. I remember I was so determined to bring him up there. I picked him up and I dragged him. His heavy, he's a really skinny guy, so like he's a really light. But he had his big, huge, heavy bag on him, which made him feel like a ton. It's like, I guess he has more stuff than I do in his bags. Like he just has some heavy bags. And I picked him up, his bag and everything, and I dragged him to the dance area. And he still wouldn't do it. He just ran back, and I tried a couple times. I think I dragged him like three times. If everyone was looking at me like I was crazy. I just wanted him to dance. I was like, I don't care if I look crazy. I want you to dance. <laughs> I even told him, I want you to dance. You said, what did I want for my birthday? I want you to dance. That's what I want. Dance for me, peasant. <laughs> and I was like, that's what I want. Oh, that's a look. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna look up some memes. Cause I'm gonna do a meme.
Okay, so will you do that? I'll start playing, um, Minecraft. Hey, could you shut the door? Kendall? Kendall? You shut the door? Yeah. Thank you. Now with extra hug. Okay. Um. Dolling Kendall's Kingdom. You know, I haven't really been in Mintro Land in a long time. <clears throat> so, uh. Where am I? Oh, yeah, I remember this. This was for my Slenderman game thing. You guys want to take a look at it? So you guys seen Slenderman, right? So I based this off of the game. It's not quite the same. Got a living room. With a TV and a lamp. Got a piano. Got pictures everywhere. Look what it says. It's always watching. It will find you. Behind you. Not bad, huh, guys? And then I got a creepy stairway. Ooh, even better. Let's put this at night. Uh, hold on. How do I do that again? Oh, yeah. So we'll go to night. And, uh... Let's, uh... Is that an Enderman? Let's see. Enderman. An Endermite. Wait, oh, and we go through them. Creepy skeleton spider zombie spawners. Oh, wait, here we go. Enderman. This is peaceful mode. Okay. Hello, creepy dude. There, now it really feels like Slender Man. Don't go, don't go after it. It's watching you. Behind you. This is one of my favorite rooms. This was also based off of the game. There's a bunch of papers on the floor, and if you look on the walls, it hates fire. Your next coffee. It's near. Dolly was here. Proxy says hello, we're here. Slenderman? Real? Don't look behind you. And death is near. It wants you. So yeah, I really I really worked hard on this. Mm-hmm. And check it out. I even added a really cool bathroom. We got state of the art. We got bathtub. And then we got a toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Ew, I'm in toilet water. Gross. Nasty. And then, of course, we got a sink, which is also apparently giant. Dude. Dude. There's the mirror. I use glass for the mirror. Is because I still haven't had a roof on this place, I guess. Because number one, I forgot I can't fly. Um, and then here's like some thingies. Armor. Yeah, I built all of it in creative, of course. But I mean, hello, monsters everywhere. Hi there. Don't kill me. I'm innocent. Oh my goodness, I'm in the forest. Nowhere to go. A bunch of monsters everywhere.
Creepy. Anyways. Put that cookie down. So, anyways. What's Dolly's world? I apparently have done nothing to this world. Hey guys, I'm gonna have some fun with this. Let's see, for this world, I think I'll start off by making. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna make a roller coaster. I just can't let it go. I don't know, I think I'll just do like a simple roll coaster or something. Maybe I might do a cool big one. It would be really cool. Nothing like roller coasters. So anyways, I was, guys, I was watching this movie called Out of Style. You guys should so see it. It was so funny. My favorite part has something to do with Beyonce. I won't tell you the whole thing, but I'll tell you it was funny. And personally, I'm a huge fan of Beyonce, so it's kind of funny to hear that. Especially the way I heard it. Yep. Warn you guys, though, so there is some cussing in it, but it's still super funny. Also, if you guys haven't seen Dragon Ball, you should so check it out. And you should also check out the parody, because the parody is super funny. Now, another thing. How many of you guys have seen Teen Titans Go? Personally, I think it sucks. Like, it's the worst thing ever. But anyways... I did like their one episode where, like, they were abridging the original show. I think that Teen Titans Go would be better if they just abridged the show, like, the original show, rather than do what they've been doing. Or maybe even having, like, abridged the show, but have, like, a little bit of their animation where, like, the characters kind of comment in the end saying that, that was funny, or... Wow, that was weird. Or just something funny at the end or in between or something. You know what I mean? But not keep on going on about it, like, badly. It's pretty sad, though, like, what they did with the show. And, I mean, some of the shows, you guys, were just awful. Like, some of the episodes, I'm like, I couldn't bear them. Like, the one with the legs, I'm like, this feels uncomfortable for me. Don't get me wrong, if you're bored and you want something to watch, at least you can't say you're bored, you'll just say you're annoyed. Because trust me, that show annoyed me. And then it's like, they totally degraded the actual characters. Imagine how the characters would feel, not to say that they're real, but just, what, imagine if the characters themselves, from their original show, seeing that. Ooh, even that would be funny, if like the real Teen Titans people from their show watch Teen Titans go like an episode and said this is awful. That would be funny to me. Yep. Kinda like, um, yeah. Yep. So what you doing, Kendall? Stop calling me that! Sorry, Spike. <gasps> is this still my world or is it this is your world? This is actually my world. Literally says Dolly's world. Uh, After, huh? Can't you love pink? Nope. Or does it say Dolly's kingdom? No, it says Dolly's world. 
this is an old world that I made. This is called Dolly's World. I apparently didn't build anything in it, so I thought I'd build a roller coaster. I'm so stuffed. Ugh. Yeah. Do 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 do. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Do 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 do. Hey guys, you want to hear something awful? One of uh, the what are your jokes? No, something awful that one of my friends used to tell me. I thought you were gonna say no. Something even more awful. I guess you could put it like that. So, have you guys ever seen it? The movie it. I've never seen it. I don't want to. They're even making a new movie on it. But anyways, my friend had said that. My friend had said, ba 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 I'm loving it. Think about it. It from the movie, then it from McDonald's. I'm like, great, now the McDonald's song is creepy. And something my friend used to always say. Can, uh, Spike. Spike, I'm doing the video. Yeah. That's being played in the background. Do you have to do that out loud? Look how big this roller coaster is. Jesus. Anyways, yeah. And then um, another some creepy thing that my friend used to say was they would say what sta what happens in the alley stays in the alley. Like, what are you doing in the alley? And what do you mean what stays in the alley? Like, you know what, like, what stays in, what stays in what whatever happens, country you're in? Like, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, yes, but like, she was saying what happens in the alley stays in the alley. Exactly, that's, that's the same point. Yes, but she meant it in a creepy way. She even smiled about it, too. You know, she one time told me that she has a collection of knives. <laughs> Elmo and Donald Trump. Best thing ever. Well, I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to watch this Elmo is Donald Trump thing. So, bye. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.